Put down the newspaper, turn off the TV, and head to your computer. In today's political culture, blogs are taking over. Honestly, right now, blogging is driving the media cycle. More than anything else, bloggers drive the media cycle. And 24-year-old Adam Fogel would know. As the editor of the Palmetto Scoop, a conservative political blog here in South Carolina, Fogel offers commentary and provides analysis that he feels the media leaves out. Anyone can post a copy of a story that ran on the state. That's not interesting. I, you know, I want to post a story that ran on the state and add why this is, you know, take it to that next level that a reporter writing it straightforward can't really do. For Will Folks, editor of the blog Fitz News, blogs offer a more conversational alternative to mainstream media. A web blog is, I guess, where the term comes from. And it's kind of, I guess, an online diary, if you will. Uh, and blogs are entries, I guess, that people type in and, and post on, a, on the internet. And then folks are able to come in and comment uh, on what you wrote. Fitz News, as folks describes, is known for being direct, unconventional, and at times, even unfair. I think that you have an obligation in this process to be true to yourself. Uh, to be true to the things that you believe. Uh, and I think that we do that on this website. And I think that a lot of people end up coming here because it's a lot fresher and it's a lot more real than uh, you know, some of the stale stuff they read in the newspapers. While blocks have gained popularity over the last few years, the presidential election has brought political blogs into the spotlight. The presidential election is going to be a great example. When we look back on this in, in five or ten years, or, you know, and we can, we've had time to digest what's happened, you're going to really see the impact that blogs had on making and breaking this election. And it's not only South Carolina blogs making headlines. Fox News, CNN, and even the New York Times are jumping on the blog bandwagon. According to USC political science professor Blease Graham, there's a new tendency to shy away from the voice of the expert and towards the voice of the ordinary person. Uh, I think you see that in newspaper coverages. Instead of asking for the expert opinion, professor so-and-so or consultant so-and-so says this, that, or the other, it's what's the person uh, at the, the stool in the dining shop, in the diner, or, or the person in the department store, or the person waiting in line at the bank. But in our busy society, how is there time for people to read blogs, let alone time to consistently update them? It is a very, it's a time, it's a time taking process and, um, you know, generally I try to get to the office as early as I can, knock out my work, um, you know, fire off a post. For Anthony Palmer, PhD student at USC and editor of the 710 Palmer on Politics, maintaining a blog has led to less time doing things he loves, such as bowling. Whenever blogging, like anything else you love, stops becoming fun and starts becoming an obligation or some type of chore, then that's when it's time to kind of take a step back. I know a lot of my readers wish that I posted every day. I don't have the time and I don't have the interest in that. You know, I just write on my own time. It's important to understand, however, that some blogs may contain a strong bias or political motive. Don't believe everything you read. Don't always take it in. Read it, process it for yourself, and, and then determine how you feel about it, what you take away from it, what is true, what is not true. It's as if uh, the candidates give us the painting uh, and the blogs give us what the museum guide would tell us about the painting. Ask yourself what's important to you, What's important? Is it national security? Is it the economy? Is it college tuition? And find out all you can about these candidates and learn about their platforms and then make an intelligent decision. To read more from any of the three blogs mentioned in this piece, please visit their websites. Adam Fogel's The Palmetto Scoop at www.palmettoscoop.com Will Folks's Fitz News at www.fitsnews.com and Anthony Palmer's 710 Palmer on Politics at www.theseventen.com.